Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. Today we have another ratchet video for you. But before we start, as always, if you find this this type of content interesting or helpful, could you give me a like, share, and subscribe? Okay. Today we have a ratchet I found on um, on Amazon. It's a Sata brand. They seem like they're pretty popular on Amazon. Uh, the model number is ST12971U, and it comes in this in this cardboard box. And it's made by Apex Tool Group. And Apex, they make a they make a bunch of brands. They make Gear Ranch, I think Armstrong is also made by Apex Tool Group. So, here's what the box looks like. And it's made in China. Okay, let's open it up and take a look. Okay, here's the handle. And there it's engraved SATA. And it has the number 1297IU. And it has like an S with some dashes next to it. Here's the head. And this is 72 teeth. It's a shallow quick release. That's the button for the quick release. And it has a snap ring holding in the mechanism. Okay, these are pretty much identical to the Duralast 72 teeth ratchets and I believe they're identical also to the Husky 72 teeth ratchets my only complaint about this ratchet is that it seems to be some play there on the anvil It's not very stout, like like you see on a lot of on a lot of ratchets. That they're pretty like they're pretty straight and they don't move too much. This one has a good amount of movement, not a crazy amount of movement, but you you do notice it. <clears throat> okay. Let's open it up. It has a snap ring here. You take your snap ring pliers and you take out the ring. That's what the ring looks like. And it has this small plate, thin plate. Reminds me of uh, kind of the Craftsman quick releases with the thin plate and the snap ring. Okay, here's the mechanism inside. It has like a floating paw, and the paw has like 13 teeth on them. So, seems like a pretty, pretty stout mechanism, and the walls here. The walls are really thick here around the gear. 
and the switch switches the pole back and forth. This reminds me of the icons from Harbor Freight. They have like a similar switch to this where there's a floating pole and the switch is in kind of a, a circular cutout. Okay. Here's the gear. Okay, this gear has an O-ring. Has a rubber O-ring around the anvil side. And it also has a rubber O-ring here around the switch side. You can see it there. That's how wide the, the gear is. Like I said it was quick release. So the ball. Oh, there it goes. Alright. The ball goes flat. Okay, and there's a, there's a good amount of oil, I think, that they put around uh, around the gear to keep it lubricated. Here's the pole. Like I said, I think it's 13 teeth on this pole. And it has some numbers, 7 and a 2. And here's the bottom of the pole with a switch, a plunger in the switch, switches from side to side. Here's the gear and this is the thickness of the pole as it pertains to the gear so they're both, they're both the same thickness, the pole and the gear. <coughs> Okay, now there's a switch. The switch, there's two plungers. There's one underneath the switch, and there's one in the switch that, sw that switches uh, the pole. Okay, here's the plunger and spring. for the switch, the pole. It's a hollow plunger. It's kind of a long plunger and it's pointy also. It's kind of a point on the top and the spring goes inside of it. Okay, and now here's the switch. And it, you could take it out like that. This is what the switch looks like. There's a hole for the plunger and spring. And this too also has a rubber O-ring around it. See it here? There's a little rubber O-ring. to, uh, I guess, keep the debris and moisture out. So there's three O-rings on this. There's one for the switch, there's one on the anvil side, and there's one on the quick release side of the mechanism, or the, the gear. <clears throat> okay, there's another plunger at the bottom of the switch here. Okay. 
and that's that plunger. It looks the same as the plunger in the switch. Same height and pointiness and there's a spring underneath that goes into the hollow of the switch. And here's the hole at the bottom there of the housing for the plunger. Here's a look inside the housing. Like I said, this is, this is really thick here. This is all, this is all solid. Okay, to get this back together, you take your, your plunger that goes at the bottom and the spring and you put that in the hole like that. You take your switch from the outside, you put it back in, get it over the plunger like this. Okay, you take your your plunger for the switch and you put that in the hole in the switch like that okay and you take your pole and you put it on top of the plunger like that not all the way down because it's it's the gear that helps it keep 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 the pole down all right now you take your gear and you get your edge in and you try to pull it pull the pole down at the same time that you're putting the gear in so this is how it looks when it's ratcheting Okay, now you take your plate, you put it in the hole there, you take your snap ring and pliers and you hold it, you hold the snap ring there and you put your finger here so it won't go flying in case it gets loose and you mash it down. Make sure it clicks in and it's in the groove, the snap ring. And now you test it out. Switching, yep. Okay, that's my teardown of the SATA 3 8 ratchet from Apex Tool Group, which uh, makes a lot of different tools. And I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, bye.